ఎస్పెషల్లీ Uh, why because fresher means see nowadays if you are going to any interview you are seeing past 4 years right if you are uh, 2023 past or 22 people uh, 2022 2020 19 also considered as a uh, fresher years. right mm-hmm. past 4 years okay so like that if you consider why we need to go for back door if you are taking past 4 years is considered as a fresher in mnc companies why we need to go for back door for fresher so it is a wrong decision but most of the people are uh, <laughs> they are very lazy to learn so that is the reason it is the easiest to process and uh, uh, they are giving some amount and they are getting soft, uh, some software jobs right so in my opinion it is a not a good decision okay why ma'am why i will tell you uh for suppose if the person is paying uh, 2 lakhs for the company he was going in a back door process okay so what will be happen in the company means you are not having any technical skills with the basic knowledge you will be entered into the company yes. right you are not having any experience you are not having any technical skills for suppose you will go to the company if they are assigning any project to you how you can do that project without having any experience yes. so that is the reason it is not good for especially freshers if the people are taking uh, training in a experienced if the people are taking experience training maybe they can try the back door that means if the people are having 6 years uh, education gap to get the job okay if they are having a long gap so then they will take back door but there is a problem every time with the back door okay yes. so why because if you are not prove yourself in the company regarding to technical skills then obviously after 3 months or 6 months you will be removed from the company yes. that means they will take from the company am i right or wrong yes as your experience mm. standards also go with the back door okay but while go to compulsory technical skill and it's there ah yes if they having a good technical stuff okay if the pro, if the uh, if they are assigning any project to them if you are doing that project within the time attending to the client meetings mm. so even my students have uh, faced some problems they in this corona time they went in a back door process i don't want to mention names but i know few of the people who faced it with back door process okay that they, they are taking 2 lakhs amount 3 lakhs amount but after 6 months madam i lost my job so they are coming to me and they are saying they whatever the problems they have faced in the company so that is the reason i don't suggest a back door process but if you do little bit hard work for 6 months or 6 months 6 months or 7 months if you are having a good technical skills if you are going to any company and if you are attending the interview uh, if you go like that you will have a good technical stuff and the company is giving the technical training like 3 months or 4 months they will give you the technical training so if you do the project well then you will be surviving in the same company for 2 years 3 years 4 years so if you are going like a back door if you are not having proper technical skills how you will be survive in the company so th- that is the reason i won't encourage back door process okay so mostly students are very careless about the their future uh, yes <laughs> see even i am also saying when i am telling the classes they will see the ipl matches uh, some people may do their own works and uh, after completing btech i am giving suggestion to all the students when you are completing your degree or btech or diploma just uh, sit yourself in front of the google what is the trending technology you are having uh, if you learn this technology uh, how much time it will take uh, how much duration it will take to complete that uh, technical to gain some technical knowledge uh, how to approach it uh, okay uh, op- op- openings are there in which technology more openings are there in which technology you have to search everything in the google right but the people are blindly uh, my uncle is saying to take dot net my anna, my brother is saying that to take java so don't take decisions from others why because you can take the decisions from others but think yourself if you are a mechanical student 
uh, I need to take which technology for me which technology is uh, easy see some people can think that if the if the person is doing BTEC or civil or triple E they can think that Java is very difficult to uh, to us so we need to take a Python course okay or if the person is coming from IT background or CSC CSC branch or BSc statistics computers electronic computers they are having a subject like Java so they will learn java the people has to estimate based on their education okay they need to sit for one or two days discuss with your uh, uh, family members instead of discussing with the family number family members you need to take your own decision why because you are a graduate you are a professional so you need to make your own decisions yourself so that is the suggestion i was giving so some people may tell java is a trending language some people may tell uh, python is a trending language some people may tell uh, testing is a trending pega is a trending everybody will give their own opinions but here you should not take others opinions you have to take your own opinion what you have to do and they need to browse in the google what is the trending technology what is the trending tool uh, if you learn this a tool six months what is the package we are getting so proper planning is very important while you are learning any technology in the market if you are not having any future planning so then waste of time it is waste of time so the future planning is must ensure so students please follow madam rules <laughs> okay students are over confident about the communication skills as well as technical skills but come to reality they are unable to speak in interviews yeah even i was also uh, facing this problem see the people are going to communication classes the people are going to communication classes we are giving some 10 or 20 hr questions they are answering very nicely everybody was answering the same questions in the same manner but uh, if you are telling the same questions in the same manner then uh, the HR will get a doubt uh, everybody is sell, uh, telling the same answers mm -hmm. so please change the sentence formation and uh, tell by your own what you are thinking about that HR question okay uh, what is the question they are asking how to answer it or uh, search in the Google or uh, see some YouTube channels regarding how, how the HR questions are asking uh, like that but most of the people what do it, uh, English is speaking only and a basic English knowledge is required but see guys I have seen I have already said in so many videos that you are doing the client projects the client projects may be there from either US or England or uh, uh, I mean uh, UK or uh, the project may be come from Australia we don't know where the project uh, we are uh, getting am i right so that is the reason you have you should have a good communication skill and uh, you need to do the project with a teamwork yes, yes. without um, a team we cannot do the project why because uh, for suppose if you are doing java project html coding will be there some java coding will be there you will have sql coding you need to communicate with the, all the people or not right so it is a teamwork so that is the reason communication is very very important and in a company in your team maybe north indian north indian people are also there okay so if you lack in communication how you will communicate with your team members so that is the reason please guys it's my it's my request to each and every student don't show overconfident while you are going to any interview if you show overconfident then interviewer can show their attitude so that is the reason they will also show some overconfidence right so that is the reason uh, never show uh, overconfidence in front of any interviewer even uh, i was seeing in the technical interview also uh, java i can uh, <laughs> answer any question so the students can think that they learn one definition and think that they will learn some concept for suppose the java is there they will focus on especially oops concepts collections exception handling they can think like that okay uh -huh, we learned oops concepts now we learned exception handling collections i will definitely get the job i know some basic definitions but in interviews it will not be worked you have to tell the definition properly with two to three examples okay and you need to give some real time examples in that so don't show over confident in the subject also that is very very bad impact uh, it will have bad impact on you so that is the reason if you know the answer confidently say yes otherwise no, no. but don't show over confidence in front of the interviewer 
okay i have said in the previous uh, videos also uh, to improve your communication skills please talk to the people who are surrounded you please communicate more with uh, north indians or uh, please watch english movies i have already said you english web series or something to improve it or uh, learn some uh, watch some uh, english uh, learn uh, learn something in the english newspapers so all these are the suggestions i have uh, discussed in the previous video also but uh, still um, few of the students are not following if you are not following your comment uh, this steps uh, automatically you will face some problems in the interviews okay? okay that is the suggestion i need to give coming to the technical skills you have to know the definition you have to know the syntax you know, you have to know know how to write down the program and uh, you have to know concept wise real time examples nowadays most of the interviewers are asking about real time examples for suppose polymorphism is there can you give me one real time example for that or uh, inheritance is there uh, can you give me a, a, a one real time example for inheritance they are asking real time examples so you need to prepare every concept with the real time examples so please thorough with the google so students are looking for the basic technical skills to crack the interviews very easily in their opinion it is right or wrong no uh, i think this is uh, the people are thinking in a wrong way the students are thinking in wrong way um, uh, as i observed okay uh, if the companies are asking plain fresher requirement okay if the companies are asking plain fresher requirement then basic knowledge is required but see uh, in naukri so many times we have seen we need a java developer full stack java developer and uh, some companies may ask a full stack python developer in such cases basic knowledge is not work mostly out. freshers asking so ma'am we are freshers mm. so i have some basic knowledge about this some technologies mm. it is easily to get the job <laughs> no <laughs> that is wrong as you are a fresher but how the competition is there and the uh, so say uh, in the real time real time how the uh, situation is there for four positions can the software companies are having only four positions but the people are attending 15000 yes. 1500 and 2000 people are attending for four positions in the interview how you can crack it with a basic knowledge so that is the wrong thinking guys students i was uh, giving this suggestion also don't think in such a way and don't go for the interviews uh, why because uh, you can think that you are a brilliant student but while going to there uh, some other person is also very very brilliant student will also be there. the competition is too high nowadays why because because of this corona uh some uh, now uh, nowadays recession is going yes. on in most of the mnc companies and the people are uh, coming out from the companies and they are searching for the new jobs also and some people are going with references so how can how you can handle with this basic knowledge it is not possible right so if you go for full stack java means you should have a good knowledge on core java advanced java even sql nowadays sql is mandatory for yes, every sir. interviews right yes. so you have to learn a database also why because if you are developing any application it's definitely you store that data at one place that is nothing but database right so that is the reason nowadays database is also asking uh, if you are developing any web application definitely you should have html css javascript so they will ask you all these uh, technologies uh, am i right or wrong so yes. that is the reason if anybody ask you full stack python developer or full stack java developer definitely you should have a grip on all the technologies then only you will crack the interview otherwise it is very difficult to crack the interview so nobel dies ma'am so as a fresher expecting the more packages but uh, less bond it is yes. okay <laughs> not okay but um, if you are having good technical skills you can ask me any question ma'am i can answer it that okay if you are having that much of confidence then you can expect a salary high okay. but uh, it is not good as a fresher my suggestion is but it, it is not at all a good decision my suggestion is uh, first of all gain the experience either it is 6 months or 1 year or 2 years or 3 years okay you should be uh, ready to gain some experience but don't expect any salary as a fresher salary is not important here experience is important and here so that is the reason go for the experience 
after that you can expect the salaries okay you can uh, break the bond and everything uh, after breaking the bond then you can expect the high salaries in the another companies okay first of all you need to gain good experience and good knowledge in the subject so that is the suggestion i was giving so thank you ma'am so nadi inka more videos ilane memu wait chestamu inka meeke emanna questions em unnante kinda comment vara maaku messages cheyachu so please like share and comment the magnitude software thank you